what's going on y'all so we coon hunting again tonight uh we went last weekend had a really good time ended up killing two coons two big bow coons uh lady from uh that i go to work with she wound up eating them coons <laughs> i ain't never ate one i ain't gonna do it but hey as long as people's eat them that's 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 good so jc's back down he's got his wife erica how you doing ma'am good what's this on your back old school kennels that's our dog kennels. that's y'all's dog's kennels yep. i got you jc's got some good dogs seen that last weekend hopefully we can get on something tonight uh, we're gonna be on a different piece of property tonight it's eat up with coons i'm expecting some quick action this i mean we're still keeping the corn out and they devouring the corn so i got one stand it's it's i've had eight or ten coons on the corn pile at one time i mean they eat all my daggone deer corn so if y'all got a deer problem not a deer problem hear that if y'all got a coon problem a deer problem's a good thing coon problem ain't a good thing we take care of them too. we take we take care of, yeah we'll get the deer and the coon <laughs> if y'all got a coon problem let me know because you know they'll be glad to come out there and thin some out for you so before we get to going i got a few people i want to thank JC's Outdoors, all your hunting and fishing needs. Live bait, guns, archery, and apparel, serving breakfast and lunch. Flight Deck Restaurant, voted best family restaurant in Lexington. Great food, homemade desserts with the perfect blend of Southern and Greek flavor. Huge arcade to entertain the kids. Warren's Landscaping Services, everyday lawn care maintenance, lighting, irrigation systems, and water features. Proudly serving Lexington and Gilbert for over 24 years. Rough Country Off-Road. Let them customize your side-by-side. -side. Anything from lifts, lights, and plenty more accessories. Priceless Country Store. All your feed and seed needs, from dogs to horses and many animals in between. Fence supplies, livestock, accessories, and gardening. Car craps tire. All things tires. Passenger, commercial, and farm machinery. They also do brakes and oil changes. J&J &J Specialties. Specializes in pole buildings, horse barns, shops, barn dominiums, and metal roofing. all right that's them i really appreciate them they support me i love it that's what it's all about so we're about to go cut these dog loose and see what happens y'all uh, stay tuned all right y'all last time i told you i was to tell you what kind of light i had and i totally forgot so here it is right here it is a cyclops and um this light is so awesome there it is a good good view of it i don't know the exact numbers on it but you can see it but if you want to get good footage of in the nighttime, it opens up to a big, broad area. It's, just, it's really awesome for video on at night. So that's it. So now you know what kind of light I use. Um, y'all comment and let me know what y'all use because if y'all got something better, hey, I'll try it. All right, everybody, we're about to cut these dogs loose. Uh, well, we're going to walk them down in here near the stand. You can't drive down in there. I want to get close to that corn pile. We're gonna let them go and hopefully things go good. So let's get it, man. Let's do it. <coughs> Tell y'all what, I got some funk going on, man. We went ice skating today. Well, they went ice skating. I watched them a safe distance. And boat was like 40 degrees in there. I had fog coming up my mouth, and now I got this cough going on. And there y'all see that light I got, man. It lights up the world. All right, everybody. So they've been out probably she just been 30 45 minutes by now and we hear them barking they're not showing treat on his unit or what what do you call that thing garmin garmin gps yeah i call them a unit <laughs> <laughs> but um it's not showing them tree we hear them hear them barking you think they're getting close or yeah they should be we got to be careful back in here you know we own our land but way back it's probably 300 yards of the house back in there and I don't want the dogs to get real close in there, but they ain't. They 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 several hundred yards in there. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Listen, hear them. Yeah, they pushing on us. 
400. Yeah. Dang, that's a long ways. Mm. They cross that second pond. Cross the second pond? Yeah. You want to ease on that direction? Or does it show them? It Let's ain't. go to that pond. You just want to get a little closer? Yeah. All right, we're going to. They ride right off that little pond. All right. It ain't, like I said, it ain't showing them trees, but we are going to ease that direction. We'll get about, what, a couple hundred yards. We'll cut her down and see what it sounds like. Yeah, the signal's in and out, so. Okay. Maybe we can pick them back up. All right. All right, everybody, we are, turn it when you see it. So we are 147, and it's showing bones. Who's Big Bill? That's the daddy, that's Bill. It ain't showing him tree. What's up with that? Yeah, they treat all three of them. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Oh, I, I see. Turn it back on. Yep, got you. And they're 149 yards. Mm-hmm. Well, it sounds good. We can hear them pretty good now. There's a pond down in there, but this pond's all over this place, but God, it sounds good. Well, let's see he's that way. Let's we'll see how close we can get. All right, everybody. They are approximately 50 yards away now. And we got to walk in there. And there's briars. There's briars everywhere. Mm -hmm. So there's a little there's a little logging road in there. So they're probably near it. You can't drive back there, though. So I ain't going to tear my players up getting in there. But we got about 50 yards to walk. And it clears up a little bit on the other side of them briars. So we're gonna get on in there, see what happens. Walk around them briars. Sounding good. Oh, we are right there. Got where the tree? I don't see no coon. Oh, I see him. I see him. Yeah, yeah, I got he you. He was on there. Right. 
But he's going up now. Pop that son of a gun. Let me know when you shoot. Let me get on this side. I can see him a little better. That's good. That's fine. I'll see if I can catch him in my hat. <laughs> Hey, come. Boom. Oh, God. All right, everybody. Let me give you a little recap of what happened earlier. So, we found that coon up in the tree with the dogs barreling on him. Uh, roaring. It sounded so good. Shot him out the tree. JC did. He hit the ground right there at me, and he wasn't dead. Dogs jumped on him. It was a pretty nasty, vicious fight. And, um, Y'all know I don't show that on camera. Again, I don't want to get my YouTube channel shut down, and they will shut you down for that. But those of you that coon hunt, you know what goes on. And if you don't coon hunt, go coon hunt, and you'll see what goes on. So, but we did get the coon. And we've since turned out, and they're running right now. You can, you know, we hear them way off. They're about 310, 20 yards. Yeah. We hear them in there, but... The thing ain't showing them tree, so we're just gonna give them a minute and sit here and talk about things, ain't we? Yes. What you gonna talk about? See about how we gonna get to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, one good thing about I this see piece a lot of, of water in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of ponds on this property, but one good thing is roads. A good many of roads, but you can't always get to thick. them. So thick, thick. One got yeah. Yeah, a while ago I got about got my darn eye gouged out, but uh, <laughs> luckily I didn't. So. <laughs> But y'all hold tight and we're going to see, let this thing tell us a treat and we're going to head in there. All right, everybody. So we, um, good news and bad news. The good news is we're about 60 yards away. So they ain't far. I'm sure you can hear them very good. They are treating now. Bad news is 30 yards of that ain't nothing but about seven, eight foot of water. <laughs> so his waders ain't going to do him no good. And you ain't got no waders. I ain't got no waders. But again, that ain't gonna do us no good. We we'll make her swim. She got a bright enough shirt on. There you go. We'll find her, won't we? Yeah. I wish we had a boat. We need to find us a John boat. You got a live vest? I ain't got no live vest here. <laughs> so we're gonna go around in here. We're gonna wind up probably a couple hundred yards out in there a long ways, but we're gonna try to come on that back side back in there and get a little bit closer. Um, well, not necessarily closer, but hopefully there won't be no water in between us and them. So. We'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. You can hear them right there pretty dang good. All that's water right in there to the right. Thick, boy. Yes, thick. And just for y'all want to know, right there is the pond. Let me make sure I don't dry too far here. Hey, right there, let me cut it off and you can hear them. They're right there in the head. So, that's a deep, that's some deep water. But uh, hopefully we're gonna go on the other side and take a right, and we're gonna get right in there pretty close. So that's what we, anyway. That's what we hope happens. So I'm ready to shoot another coon. I know that. All right, that's gonna be about as far as I go. All right, that's as far as I'm gonna be able to drive back there. We're just gonna have to walk the rest of the way. I don't wanna tear this thing. There's a lot of thorn bushes in here. Y'all know what a thorn bush would do to a tire. And your foot or and your face. <laughs> you fall into it. I'm gonna leave the player's lights on. Y'all can see that thing with lights of the world. I don't think it may help us back in here, but hey, you know, you never know. Yeah. <coughs> oh, hey.
Thank you. Thank you, huh? Huh? You see him? Yeah. I'm glad you see him. I don't see, I see a star. <laughs> Where's he at? No, but I'm gonna take your word for it. Let me get behind you, Ben. Oh, I see him now. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Let me go video the dogs real quick. Show that note of the stone pole right there. See a coon hit the ground. All right, JC, let's see what you got. Got door 22. Yep, find him first. You got to see him. And the first shot. How in the world did you do that? Yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> they uh finishing him off. That thing. That circle was way up that tree and he got him on the first shot. I'm pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, we finally made it out the woods. We done got the dogs loaded up. We did get two coons, one sow and one uh, bow coon. People don't know, female coons a sow. Male coons a bow. They call me bow coon. Huh? Huh? Okay. Yeah, that's right. But uh, here we go. There he is. Heck of a shot on that one right here. Look at that dog posing. Look at that oh yeah striking a pose but anyway so we had some good luck uh didn't have to get wet tonight dogs did their job but i'm gonna tell you right now there's a system coming we're gonna probably get an inch inch and a half rain starting about 11 o'clock tonight from when i'm here and so luckily got a good hunt in and i can't wait to do it again jc you got anything you want to say i just appreciate you coming and letting us do it again oh yeah take care of some coon Corn problem, coon eating, corn eating. <laughs> That's it. I wish uh, deer hunters realize these dogs don't bother the deer. I, I stress that every time. I mean, I mean, people are just ignorant on that subject. And I don't mean ignorant in a bad way. I mean, you just a lot of people just don't know. These dogs ain't bothering the deer. There'll be deer on them corn piles in 50, 20, 30 minutes from now. Oh, yeah. And I've had it, I mean, I've seen it. I mean, I got cameras out. I mean, they, they, this, you don't bother them and they'll lay right there and you go on through and that's how it is did you have a good time ma'am i did we're good that's what it's all about all right we're gonna wrap this thing up let's look at old what's his name bill big bill look at that thing big old pretty one there and again these coons do get eight they're not thrown in a ditch somewhere i mean people eat them i clean them for them and um they make a feast out of it they want me to try it but i just can't try it but uh, maybe one day I will. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see y'all next time. We're gonna try to do some more coon hunting.